Hey everyone, Shabby here and welcome back to more of our Shabby Racing Motorsport Manager. First race of Season 4. We finished bottom of every single race. However, I believe this year we might have a car that might just be able to slightly compete. Who the hell knows? Let's see what happens. Oh, I so hope. I mean, we've got some parts that are better than certain other cars now. We're not bottom in everything. Our top speed puts us up to ninth out of the 12 teams. We've got terrible acceleration and terrible uh, medium speed corners. So those are two things we're going to have to try and improve on. But I think as time goes forward, we can do that. We're currently developing another new gearbox at this point in time. And we'll look after this race to do some rear wing stuff as well. But... We're gonna do some. We're gonna actually do the proper race weekend this time. We'll do practice. We'll get our car sorted. We'll go into qualifying as well. So I'm looking forward to all of this actually. And um, they're all happy with that. Is it going to rain? I don't know. But right, let's send the two cars out. You go out on that. Um. Oh look at this. Look. We need to find out about qualifying and race, don't we? Hmm. Okay. We'll go race first. Send you out on a set of softs, I suppose. And then Deegan as well. We'll wait for a... We'll send you out as well now. Why not? Um, stints. We want you to look at qualifying first. Then we'll put you out on a set of softs as well. There we go. And we'll go up to plus 12 speed. And we'll send you two out and see how you get on. It would be lovely to see you not finish bottom two. Or at least, if you do finish bottom two, at least, like, closer. Within a second of the car ahead of you. That would be great. So, of course, Persia are back this season. Uh, Sims and Lafferty, I think it is. So, that would be interesting how they get on. Right. New faster sector. That's because we're the only ones doing laps, I think. Uh, Cohen, another new sector, but Campbell takes it straight away. And we get our first lap. We're quickest, fastest two. But Campbell hammers us. Wow. Okay. So maybe it's going to like open the whole group up a lot more because... Here we go. We're quicker than Grosjean. Uh, already a uh, setup unlocked for Cohen. We're quicker than Grosjean and Malja. Which is interesting. So Deegan is in the in lap as well. So you're pretty happy with that. Um, your handling's not great. Speed balance not great. So we want to probably do that maybe. And then we go a bit more on the top speed. Give you a bit less downforce maybe like that. We'll try that. And we'll send you out on the same set of softs. And Cohen is most of the way through his second lap, is he? Cohen sets a new lap. We are right in the middle of the pack. Cohen's 11th position. Wow. We might actually be half decent this season. We might actually be half decent. Let's bring Cohen in. He can't really learn much more from what he's got at the moment at this point in time. This is his in lap then. I can't believe we're not bottom. And that sounds terrible, doesn't it? But I can't believe we're not bottom. Right, so we've got the first level of setup knowledge for Haley. As Cohen makes his way back into the pits. And we'll set him back up and send him straight back out again. Alright, send you out. You're happy with your speed balance. And your... Um, downforce. It's just your handling you're not happy with. But um, if I tweak the handling maybe this way. And gear ratios this way. Maybe just tweak this a little bit more. A bit lower downforce. Be high down for such because it's a higher speed track. Maybe that might be good. Let's try that. Might be better. Um, move on to a set of mediums for now. There we go. So Cohen's doing fantastically well. Uh, Deegan's tyres are starting to get worn, so you're coming in, I believe. Are you? So we're doing okay, but look how slow Gunther and Grosjean are. It might just be the fact that they're on, I don't know if they're on medium tyres or no, because, I don't know, it's interesting. It is definitely interesting now. Cohen's on a new flying lap, let's see how he gets on this flying lap. 
wow, she's happy with her handling. Very, very happy with her handling. We got that right then, didn't we? 88% setup, lovely. Top speed is not good though, I think we need to probably bring it down a bit. And then... It's a bit much, isn't it? I'll be able to stay on top of that, am I? Okay, it's a big difference, and then a little bit of downforce. Try that. Um, okay, we'll put you uh, onto a set of mediums as well. So you get on with that. Cohen, you are. Downforce tweaks are great, you're happy then. You're not on your fastest lap though, that's because you're on the medium tyres, maybe, I'm not sure, but. I am so happy the fact that we might not finish bottom two here. Deegan, are you screwing Cohen over? Let him pass, for God's sake, Deegan. He's on his flying lap. Right, so um, Cohen's learning a lot about his car pretty quickly. Which is nice. Okay, a couple of cars have overtaken Cohen in speed. As Cohen does another lap. I'd like to get Deegan up to two stars before I bring her back in again. Oh, she's coming in anyway. Okay, and uh, Cohen looks very happy with his car set up as well. Deegan, we'll probably get you out for a couple more laps if you want. You're very happy with uh, your downforce. 94% we've got you to now. Wow. It's really good. We just need to probably change your speed balance a little bit. Literally like that, I think, and then... Like that, try that. And we'll put you back out again on the same set of mediums. We don't want to waste any more tyres. And there we go. Deegan's lap's still not that great, but of course that shows how much better Cohen's car is. Because those, obviously the stats we're looking at are the average for both cars. And of course, um, Cohen's car is a lot better than Deegan's. We will obviously upgrade them both as the season goes on, but yeah, well, handling's very poor now. How do we screw that up so bad? You were quite happy with handling last time, weren't you? So you're happy with the downforce. The handling's terrible, though, apparently. Where was it before? It was there, so it's actually... It wants to probably come that way then, doesn't it? Is that right? Maybe even more that way, to be honest. Let's try that. But if we're going to get much out of you here, because we're sending you out with uh, little to no time remaining, but if you can just get some idea if that's a better setup, that'd be great. So Deegan's on a new flying lap. Cohen, I'm so happy that you're 13th, my man. We might actually be able to get a point, a few points this season, you know? Especially if we continue to upgrade the car. I think we've just blown this career mode wide open now. There you go, Cohen's got level 3 unlocked. Excellent. He's on a new flying lap. Let's see how good this flying lap actually is. Hopefully Deegan lets you pass and doesn't hold you up again because, no, you've been screwed over. Yeah, you got past Deegan in the end. Deegan's coming in. We'll leave you, Deegan, now then. Not much else we can do. You're okay. Your speed balance is not great, but your handling downforce is good. Cohen's on a new flying lap. No one in front of you this time. Hopefully you can pull this out the bag. You're going to get 13th, my man. I'm so happy. So happy. Your tyres are worn. Are you going to beat your time? I don't think you're going to because you're on medium tyres now. If you're on softs, you might have pulled it off. But no, your last lap was, uh, was not as good. There we go. We're actually not... Well, Deegan's last. Okay, Deegan is last. But Cohen's 13th. That is big. Cohen being 13th is big. Where are you, Cohen? There you go. You've gone through. Right then. That's excellent. I'm so happy with that. That's only practice, though, of course. We still have to do qualifying. Um, so that's a good start. Qualifying. Here we go. 
So how are we going to play this? How is this going to work? Auto pick, auto pick. And um, we don't really want medium tyres, we want soft tyres really for qualifying. Um, okay. And you. Yeah, sweet spot and qualifying much bigger. Okay, we'll try that. So you're pretty happy. Your car setup needs a slight tweak, but I think um, it was better that way, wasn't it? Maybe I just want to bring the speed balance a bit more this way. Yeah. Okay, and then handle it maybe a bit more. That's a bit much maybe, but maybe that is the case to go. Maybe like that. And then we'll put you on a set of softs um, to try and pull out a good time. I think I'm happy with your car already. So let's go. Let's um, take qualifying. We might not do this every time. It depends. If we're competitive, we'll do it. If we're not competitive, then I'm not going to bother too much. Um, so there's not long left. So we'll send you out now since there's space. And then we'll give uh, Cohen a second. And we'll send Cohen out now as well since there's space. I don't want to get caught up behind other cars. Might as well take full advantage. Get one good lap in. And then hopefully that will be good enough um, to sit back on. Because we don't want to waste too much for tyres either, do we? Right, a lot of people are on the out laps now. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is new for me. This is new to me. I think I might have buggered up there. I think I should have been looking at how to heat the tyres up properly. I'm not sure. Well, Deegan's coming last. Cohen has got himself an eighth, so he's quicker. It's not bad though, Cohen. You are quicker than other cars. So we can get another lap at you, I think, by the looks of it. I have to go right the quick though, aren't we? So Deegan, again, we'll send you out on soft again. Fresh set of softs. Don't want to waste another fresh set. We'll send you out on the same set of softs, I think. I don't want to waste another set of softs for the race. That's the problem. I've used two sets already here. When it leaves me two more sets left, we'll do that again then. Let's do auto. There we go, let's get the tyre temperatures correct. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to let them do it themselves. It's not my job to sort their tyres and brakes out, they can do it themselves. They're supposed to be professional drivers. Right, so we might get better laps here, then Cohen's in 13th anyway. Which is not bad at all. And Cohen's got his first, his, he's got fastest first sector. So he's improving his time. Deegan is not. Deegan's actually got a slower lap than the first one. Cohen is lap is quicker for himself, but still leaves him in 13th. But that's 13th. We're better. Cohen's car is better. Oh, 14th now. Great. Cohen's car is better than nine other cars on this track. Which just fills me full of so much glee. Because it also means we could possibly make some extra money this year on sponsorships. Which is... Ah, just smash me knee against the table. Ow. I got overexcited and I smashed my knee against the table. I'm disappointed, I apologise. So Campbell's going to start on first. And we're going to start in 13th and 24th. So Deegan's car does need some work by the looks of it. Um, but like I said, as long as we get one car a bit higher up, we might get a couple of points this season. Plus potentially, we might be able to um, get some extra money from sponsorship deals as well. My god, I can't believe we did not finish bottom two for a change. Did not finish bottom two. Right, it's raining. Here in Abu Dhabi. Not Abu Dhabi. And it is going to rain for some time. So I believe, yes, we're starting on intermediates. That's good. And we're going to go with race trim. And I don't know what else to go for, to be honest with you. Mediums when it dries out. I don't think engine expert's that important, really. And again, medium and race trim. Uh, car setups. You're both pretty happy with your setup. Strategy. We're happy with the strategy. Oh my 
God, but actually, I'm so looking forward to this race now. Right. Come on, Cohen. This is your big chance. Let's see what you can do. And it's go, go, go. Cohen's lost the position straight away. Poor start by Cohen. I'm expecting Deegan to fill finish last. Cohen overtaking to get that 14th spot back. Come on, Cohen. You can do this, my man. You can show us the way. Look, he's not losing speed or anything. He's keeping up with the rest of the track. He's actually pulling up the inside of Wickens. Trying to take that 13th spot. He does. He's taken it. Oh, it's really tight down there, though, isn't it? A lot of cars congested. He has got that 13th spot, though. He has. Cohen moving up to 13th. And now eyes on Chadwick and Jewis in front. Although, no. He's, yes, yeah, up to 12th. Oh my god, Cohen, you legend. You absolute legend, Cohen. And he's looking at 11th now as well. He's going around the outside of Colombo. Okay, well, he looks like he's in a hold onto that position. Deegan has got ahead of Florsch and Grosjean into 22nd. So Cohen has got Chadwick coming up. He's inside and he's going to lose that position this corner, isn't he? Okay, but just sit up and block off Wickens. We don't want to lose. We want to try and get this position because this would be a great position for us to finish in. We're lost on to 14th now. And Lafferty is looking like he's going to try and push through as well. It's getting pretty congested. Lafferty has squeezed through. Cohen drops down to 15th position. Right, we're done one lap now. Let's speed it up. Let's go to full time speed for a little bit. So we do have good straight line pace that's our big key our acceleration is low and our high speed corners are low so that's where we're going to struggle i think was it medium speed okay one of our corners is slow i think slow speed scorers were okay i think it's medium and high that we're struggling at this point in time we're gonna have to obviously deal with that as we go through the season and get better at it but our straight line speed is good matt campbell has crashed somebody is out of the race and i think that looked like someone just went right at the back of cohen then all right, let's speed the race a bit now. It's pretty interesting now. At least we are fighting for it. And I tell you what, even um, Deegan is not losing the back of the pack. She's still involved, which is nice. Cohen's still in 14th. So we're actually going to have to actually be good now. We're going to have to be good now. So it is raining. It's going to continue to rain for the foreseeable future. It's a 30 at late, uh, 30 at late race. It's a 30 lap race, 38 lap race. And we're actually pulling a bit of a gap away from Gunther in 13th, which is nice. Deegan's tyres are underheated. She's up into 19th as well, which is nice. But um, that's going to be the problem, isn't it, with the tyre underheating. But Cohen is pulling away nicely from 13th, trying to get himself a nice little gap, which would be lovely. Uh, two cars in the pits already, which is interesting. A mistake by Deegan. She's locked her tyres up going around that final corner, which has taken 4% off of her tyre wear, which is disappointing. But it has actually put her up a place. God knows how. But Cohen's up to 10th now. Oh my god. He's actually in the points position. Uh, but that's because we've had a few people pit stop already. Um, Deegan has lost his place to Fuwako. But Fuwako is going past everyone pretty easily. I think he, uh, he is whizzing past everyone. He's got a really strong card this year, hasn't he? Cohen's keeping a hold of Colombo in ninth though. Aberdeen has got himself a drive through penalty, which is going to help uh, Deegan get past him again, I think. As Cohen up into 10th position. And if we continue improving his car, he's just going to get stronger and stronger this year, isn't he? Pajnard has screwed his tyres up completely. Uh, we might have to look at pitting pretty soon. We're up to lap 8. Uh, is it still going to keep raining? It looks like it's going to keep raining... It's going to dry out about the middle time. So I think we probably can pit now. Put another set of inters on for a while. Then we're going to have to probably pit again around about lap 16 or so. Um, when it starts to dry out a bit. Or 18 maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, Deegan's tyres were struggling. So it's worth doing. Fuwako might be able to survive a little bit longer. I think it's probably worth making that pit stop as well though with him. Um... Not for Waco, sorry, Cohen. It's going to be worth making that pit stop with him as well, I think. Um, 
Just because we can't hold on for another eight or nine laps on these tyres. It's not going to be worth it. It's going to cost us time, isn't it? So we'll make the pit. We're going to drop a few positions back, but everyone else is going to have to make that pit again pretty soon as well, I think. Come on, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. There we go. We lost seven, seven positions there, but we've come out ahead of a couple of people who haven't pitted yet. Um, and there's a few people ahead of us who haven't pitted that are going to need to pit very, very soon. So we will get that, and hopefully we'll be able to get the undercut on them and get this speed sorted. So we're catching up Rossiter now, who still hasn't pitted. Is he going to try and go away through? Surely he can't. No, it's not going to stop raining for about lap 19, 18. So we're going to get like another six or seven laps out of this set of tyres before we have to go on to probably a medium or a soft. There we go. There goes Rossiter into the pits. As Cohen jumps up to 13th position now. Back up to roughly where he was. He's lost a couple of positions, to be honest. But And uh, Deegan pulls ahead of Malger. Our cars are actually not the worst cars ever now. This is what I've been waiting for. It's taken till season four, which to be honest is probably not that bad. But it's taken to season four to finally become slightly competitive, but we might actually get some out of this race. There might be a point in this for us. If we do well with the tactics here, I mean, we know it's going to stop raining in about three or four laps time. If we do well with the tactics, we might be able to steal an actual championship point, which would be stunning. It really would be good. But if we know Cohen's got the ability to finish roughly mid-table, then that's going to help us out again, like I said, with the um, sponsors. We can get some more money at the sponsors. Right, it stopped raining now. Maybe a little bit earlier than I was hoping, but it's still damp on the track. It's still going to be a little bit damp for now. Sims has gone medium. Yeah, Deegan, I might have to make the change with you straight away. How long are you going to get out of a set of tyres? Medium gets you 9 to 11, which is going to get you around about to 26, so you probably do need one more lap. Um, what about you? How much will you get on the mediums? 11 to 13. You probably could pull it off. You'd have to get 12 laps out of it, or 8 to 10 out of a soft. If I can get another lap out the Perry on the Inters, because everyone else is doing that anyway by the looks of it. Right, we'll do that, then we'll put you onto a set of mediums to try and get as far as you can, and then hopefully go for a set of softs towards the end. Uh, Deegan, we're probably going to do the same with you, but you're going to have to do two sets of mediums, I think, because you've not got the ability to make those tyres last that long, have you? You've got to go from 17 to 27. Oh, you have to really push that last set, aren't you? You have to push that last set to the limit, aren't you? Well, let's do it. Let's try and um, catch people out. Let's try and get the undercut again and get the advantage. As so a Deegan's actually coming through to be lapped already by Ellis. As Cohen comes in to make the change, this should hopefully make him a lot quicker than the other cars around. So, um... The earlier pit stop should be beneficial. He's dropped to 16th, but um, or 17th, should I say. No, he's dropped to 16th, sorry, but he should be a lot quicker than those cars in front. There was a mistake on one of the tyres of Deegan's car, which is not great. There we go. So Karin now is into 17th, but hopefully we can uh, get the speed advantage on... The car's ahead. The thing is, he's been lapped, but he's not losing that much time. And there we go. He goes straight past Florsch. Nice. And they both drop into the pits. And now they're making the pits to change onto the medium tyres. Maybe that extra one lap might help them out later on. But we just have to see how far we can go. We need to get to around about lap 27, if we can, before we switch. For that up to 13th. Past Lafferty as well. Right, so everyone laughed it was the last person I mean, to change onto the mediums and softs. And we have got a bit of a benefit from it, but it's going to be a bit more of a struggle later on. You've got a high fuel delta. You've got a very high fuel delta. So let's um, move your engine up to push. And we'll save Cohen, I think, for a little bit. Might as well burn some of Deegan's fuel off if we can. The thing is, I want to burn the fuel off, but I'm worried about the tyre wear. That's why we need to get to the end of the race. We need another, like, five laps out of these tyres, really. It's easier said than done, I think, isn't it? Well, we have been lapped now, so we're going to do one less lap, aren't we? Oh, if we can just... 13th seems to be our place, doesn't it, with, um, with Cohen, but... If we can just be sneaky enough, we might be able to... We've actually lapped somebody else. We've lapped Roman Grosjean. Nice. 
Is a Corrin coming to unlap himself against Ellis? It looks like it. <laughs> He's catching Ellis up. Go on, Corrin. So Deegan's doing okay. Tire usage is definitely um, wearing a little bit more with the higher engine. Um, but not bad at all, is it? And we're pulled eight seconds ahead of Lafferty now in 14th by Cohen, which is good. Mega instability when I'm braking at high speed. That's not good, is it? And Jamie Chadwick has crashed. That's good. That's going to move us up to 11th. If we can sneak 10th place and get a point, that'd be amazing. That'd be so, so good if we could do that. So, so good. Right, so we're up. Um, Cohen overtakes Chadwick. Yep, we know that already. And he's got worn tyres. We're on lap 27, so one more lap should do us then. We can move on to another set of mediums to finish the race on. Wow. Um, I am worried about this, but... I don't want to risk... Let's just do it. Let's just push through. Um, and you're going to have to do it as well, aren't you? 9 to 11, though. We've got 10 laps remaining. Let's go for it, then. Your brakes are struggling, you said. Your brakes seem to be okay. It's rear wing, isn't it? 10 seconds. 8 seconds. Let's just push. Let's just push through. If we can complete the race, that'd be fantastic. Right, so Deegan goes into the pit first. Um, 11 laps remaining. You're going to need to get... 11 laps out of these tyres then, Deegan. There we go. Cohen in. That was nice. Very, very nice. That was by uh, by us again. Double stacking them pretty nicely. No hold up. We come back out in 15th position. Um, but we can hopefully go to the end of the race on these tyres now. Whereas everyone else is not going to be able to. Deegan's dropped to 20th, but... Still not last, is it? It's been overtaken there. Cohen's rear wing is struggling. I've got to, I've got to go to the end of the race. I've got to. I can't. I mean, I can go and repair the rear wing, but then I'm, I'm going to end up not getting anywhere near the end. And your rear wing as well. So we're going to have to really put the, um, the team into reliability fixes, aren't we? This race. Both cars are struggling, but there's only eight laps remaining. Just please, Cohen. If you can finish this race, you would be my hero forever and ever. I know you're struggling there. You're actually coming close to lapping, uh, Deegan. Unless it's the fastest lap, and look at how tight that is now. We're up to 14th from 13th and 12th are right in front of us. And you're all over 13th here. Who's also having problems with the car. As Aberdeen is actually overtaking everyone. There he goes into the pit. We're up to 13th. Come on, Cohen. Please survive to the end of the race. Wind condition low, we know. We're just trying to hobble on to the end of the race. There's not long left now. Oh my god, everything is really struggling. And if I was to repair all them, it's going to be... It's just not going to... It's not going to be worth it, is it? Flosh has retired due to a mechanical issue. Good for Deegan. Rear wing condition low as well. Yeah, we definitely need to work on reliability because first lap of the race, or first race of the season, we're really struggling. We're just having to ignore. I mean, there's only four laps remaining. If you could just hold on for four laps, that'd be amazing. I mean, we've been overtaken now. We've actually lost a lot of speed because of this. But if we can survive to the end of the race, that'd be great. Lap 35 begins, four laps remaining. Tires should be okay. Look at our 13th, 17th finish here. Which is fantastic. Really is. To not be the last two team, the last two cars on the teams are just so good. I'm so happy. We've got a lot of reliability to fix, haven't we, as we said. And hopefully we're going to survive to the end of the race. Deegan's tires are worn. That's fine. Just hobble to the end. Cohen comes round. Um, Spazension low as well. We've only got two more laps remaining, I think. Where's first place? He's coming round. He's, uh, yeah, we've got a lap and a half remaining. Two laps remaining for us. Because we're going to start the final lap now, is it? Worn tyres as well. Oh, hello. 
He's going to get past Lafferty, who's really struggling. Lafferty's engine looks like it's gone. Up into 12th place goes Cohen. Final lap. You're going to get 12th place, mate. Come on. Come on. Suspension condition low. It's fine. Just get to the end of the race. You've got one lap remaining. Cohen. Come on, man. Just do it. Just survive. It's raining now again. But we just need to survive. Get past that line. Looks like we're going to do it. Cohen. Starts his final lap. No, he's it's finished. Yes, we finished in 12th. <laughs> 12th position. Wow. We are actually competitive. Deegan comes in 17th. She's not too, she's not too sad about that as well. And Claire Decker wins the race. But we finished 12th and 17th. We are finally competitive. Finally. It's about time, isn't it? And we are only going to get better. We're gonna, we've are gonna, we got a lot of money to heavily upgrade our car this season. And we can make some massive upgrades. I am quite happy that by the end of the season, we will have some championship points. I'm quite happy to say that right now. I'm not saying it to guarantee, but I'm saying there's a good chance it will happen. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Right, they're checking our car, of course, that we've got no risk factor because we... Uh, Negated them all at the end of last season. Excellent. 12th position. And 17th position. No points, but still, it was good. It was a very, very good race. I think we're going to get at least one point this season. I really do. Really, really do. Um, yeah, excellent. I can't, I can't say much else. I'm so happy right now. So happy right now. To even be considering the fact that we could get a point this season. And I think with the car upgrades and improvements, we're just going to get stronger and stronger. What trait do you get now then? Top 15 result, marketable abilities, and then my 5%. That's not too bad. Any of our stats gone up? Nope. Uh, mechanics, relationships have not moved either. Um, yeah, the chairman is very happy with that. Our marketability has gone down slightly, but not by much. We still lost 843 grand, but I think we'll get some better sponsorship deals now. Get some more money, I think. Any changes here? Any big ones? No, Verstappen wins. Vettel second. Ricardo third. Hamilton fourth. Sainz Jr. fifth. Um, who else? Who got added into this? Nissan, wasn't it? Uh, Nissan finished 17th. That's interesting. And eighth. Bawaini actually got some championship points. Wow. Nissan doing well when they got promoted, aren't they? Uh, Rock and Vist, again top. Of course, uh, his team didn't do him well last year, did he? But he managed to do well. Charles Leclerc at Porsche is up into second as well. Glock in third. Ericsson fourth. It's looking pretty happy, that is, isn't it? And here we go, then R1. 12th and 17th in the Drivers' Championship. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to continue upgrading the cars. I think we're just going to get better and better. And it puts us 10th in the Drivers' Championship as well. The Constructors, shall I say, sorry. I just want to get some points this season. I really do. Um, Tolomon, the one that was really bad with us last year, a rock solid bottom. So it looks like we might have actually improved quite considerably. So there we go then, that's the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. Next time we will improve the car. We will hopefully see ourselves get a championship point. Um, what is that then? He's unhappy. Um, he's unhappy with... Oh, that's not very good, is it? He's unhappy with a lot of stuff, isn't he, at the moment? Hey ho. Uh, yeah, we'll do some well. We'll do some well. We'll do some good stuff. We'll get a headquarters upgraded as well, by the looks of it. Um, we'll get some car upgrades. We'll get everything upgraded. But I think first thing before I forget to do anything here, I can't do it yet anyway. Uh, we will actually get our um, reliability up. I think is an important thing as well. Uh, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you next time for some more Motorsport Manager. Bye.